With the most recent Fortnite update releasing, we have lots of free rewards you can claim for yourself. From a free emote you can get your hands on, to a brand new free skin, and brand new features that will be releasing later in this Fortnite season that you do not want to miss out on. So make sure you do stay until the very end of this video as you do not want to miss out on any of these free rewards. I am still gifting on the channel, if you do need a gift from me in the Fortnite item shop, all you need to do is drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notification bell. And if you would like to support me in today's item shop, you can by using code HRFN. Using my code does mean we can do more gifting and giveaways on the channel. But starting off first, Refer a Friend 3.0 is also going to be returning into Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2. Like the Refer a Friend challenges we have seen in the past, you will be able to get your hands on some free rewards. Like the Rainbow Racer skin we have seen in the past, and also the Xander skin, you will be able to get your hands on a free skin. The name of this free skin you will be able to get your hands on is the Winter Warrior Fennec skin. You will also be able to get your hands on a free back bling, a free pickaxe, a brand new free weapon wrap and a free emoticon. To unlock these refer a friend rewards when they do release you will have to complete different challenges to unlock these refer a friend rewards where you will have to make your way over to the refer a friend website and complete different challenges to unlock these rewards for yourself. Next if you didn't already know the secret skin for this season is the Aaron Jaeger skin and as you can see here are all the free rewards you will be able to get your hands on in 33 days. However, if you do make your way over to the Aaron Jaeger skin, it does say at the bottom of this skin, selectable styles, meaning we may see even a brand new page of the Aaron Jaeger skin, most likely being the Titan version of the Aaron Jaeger skin, as in the Attack on Titan series, Aaron Jaeger does turn into a Titan, most likely meaning we will see Titans roaming the Fortnite map trying to eliminate you, and in my opinion, I cannot wait to see Titans release into the game. This also then brings us to the Aaron Jaeger's mythics that are called the ODM gear that was teased in the Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 trailer and if you haven't already seen it here is the gameplay of this weapon. As you can see you can grapple onto players and also structures and this mythic will be releasing in the next up and coming Fortnite update. And let me know in the comment section down below if you are excited for this mythic to release as in my opinion I cannot wait to see it release. Next as we do know the first person game mode is not in the brand new Fortnite season. The first person game mode was one of the most talked about modes to release into Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 last season, but luckily we do know that we are going to be seeing the first person game mode release this season, as it was confirmed by leakers saying that the first person game mode has been updated quite a few times in the in-game files, meaning it's only a matter of time until we do get to see this first person game mode release. With the addition of the first person game mode releasing, we are also expecting weapon charms to release. This is because weapon charms would look amazing on your weapon in the first person game mode, and when weapon charms do do release hopefully epic do decide to allow players to unlock different weapon charms through challenges and events that will take place later on in this season the free back bling is also going to be unlockable for completely free this is because there is going to be an up and coming community battles event planned to grant all winners of this community battles event a free back bling called the wing cavalry back bling you will also be able to get your hands on the squeezy does it emote as well but you will also be able to get from this community battles event and i will leave a link in the description down below of this website that you do need to make your way over to to get these free rewards for yourself when this community battles event does start. Another free skin you will be able to get your hands on is the Triad Knock skin. This is because if you do make your way over to this place on the map, you can see this skin as an NPC. And if you didn't know as well, this skin is the part of the last reality. We also know that this skin has been a survey skin for a little while now, and with most survey skins, they do release into Fortnite. Meaning we will be seeing this skin as a free reward either unlocking it through challenges or a free reward in the item shop and let me know in the comment section down below if you are excited to get this skin for yourself for completely free. Later on in this season we are also going to be seeing an up and coming Star Wars collab giving us two brand new skins. At the moment all we know about these skins are both of them are going to be Mal. This is because it was confirmed by leakers and in my opinion I would love to see Cole Kestis as the main skin for this brand new collab who is featured in the Jedi Survivor and also the Fallen Order game and in my opinion this skin would fit perfectly inside of Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 2 and the second skin I would love to see in the game is the Anakin Skywalker skin. This is also another skin I think would fit perfectly inside of this Fortnite season as well and when we do get to see this Star Wars collab take place we are also going to be seeing the returns of 
lightsabers. But I am super excited to see return and also brand new force abilities ranging from a force jump to a force pull. And let me know in the comment section down below if you are excited to see these force abilities release. Also in the chapter 4 season 2 battle pass, Miles Malice is nowhere to be seen. As last season, lots of people did think that the Spider-Man Miles Malice skin was going to be in the chapter 4 season 2 battle pass. This is because we saw the Spider-Gwen skin inside of the chapter 3 season 4 battle pass and in chapter 3 we also saw the comic book Spider-Man inside of the battle pass as well. Luckily we may have an idea right now of when we are going to be seeing this Miles Malice skin release into Fortnite. This is because this battle pass is confirmed to end on June the 2nd. You can see this if you make your way into the main battle pass menu and as you can see in the bottom left it does show you June the 2nd is the end of this battle pass. And when this battle pass does end the Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse movie will be releasing into cinemas. Meaning we will finally see the release of the Miles Morales skin and the return of the web shooters that have also been in the game before. We are also still waiting on the Firefly launcher to release into chapter 4 season 2 as this weapon was teased last season that lots of people did think was going to be releasing as well. The Firefly launcher does remind me of a semi-automatic flamethrower taking the fireflies that have been in the game before and being able to shoot them outside of this weapon. And when this weapon does end up releasing into chapter 4 season 2 you need to make sure you do pick up this weapon as you will be able to set structures on fire and do lots of damage to players. Here is also the damage stats of the firefly launcher and let me know in the comment section down below if you are excited to see this weapon release. Creative 2.0 is also expected to be releasing later this season. This is because Creative 2.0 last season was confirmed by Epic to be delayed. Either way Fortnite Creative 2.0 is expected to be much better than the creative we do have now. This is because you will be able to use the Unreal Engine that is used to make video games. Meaning you will be able to add different games to your Fortnite Creative Island. Like a Minecraft Creative Island I would love to see in the game as a map code if it was to release. But time to wrap up today's video and if you did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel with a post notification bell turned on. And if you would like to support me in today's item shop you can buy using code HRFN. Using my code does mean we can do more gifting and giveaways on the channel. And if you would like a gift from me in the Fortnite item shop make sure to comment down below with your Epic Games username so I can send you a gift. And don't forget to watch the next video that does pop up on screen as you do not want to miss out on that. But thank you ever so much for watching this video onto the channel and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.